So today I thought I'd give you an overview of how the car is sitting as of right now, because I know, you know, all the build videos and stuff like that, that's happening on a whole different timeline than uh, real life. First thing to talk about is that right now the entire car is taken apart. There's nothing inside the car or inside the engine bay, because I'm prepping it for paint, and I'm going to be painting the engine bay tube front interior and roll cage. So I got a ton of paint sitting in the corner over there. There's like gallons and gallons of paint. So of course I had to pull the engine for that. Um, all the wiring harness, the full electrical panels over there, radiator, you know, the works. The fenders aren't even attached right now. It's about to fall off. So here's the engine bay. It's all bare. I'm going to be dropping the cross member before paint as well. I just have it still bolted up um, in case I need to roll the car around before it gets painted. So that'll come out before paint though. Still need to prep the bay a little bit. I had to remove the windshield. Uh, did the A pillar got sit, so I just finished those up last night on the cage. I still have to do the anti wheel intrusion bars right there, which I'll be hopefully finishing tonight if all goes as planned. So I'll have the anti wheel intrusion bars done on both sides. It's actually been a day later, so I, I finished the anti wheel intrusion bars on both sides. So the cage is now done, and I can actually start the paint prep work and I uh, start spraying inside in the engine bay. I also welded this tube across to act as a strut brace between the rear strut towers, so that is done as well. And yeah, as you can tell, the rest of the interior is done. I just need to pull the steering column, which again, I still have on there in case I need to roll the car around. So in the wheel well over here, I put a piece of metal right there, welded that in place, all sanded it flat, so the whole wheel well is all covered up now. Uh, and that's where the harness used to run, which it doesn't run there anymore. So now it won't be spraying water at my legs if I drive in the rain. Uh, same thing on this side, did the same exact thing, the two smaller holes over there. Okay, moving along, here's all the paint. I got paint for me and Nikita, and I got paint for inside the cars and outside the cars, and an extra because um, I'm going to be painting the exterior of the car about a month later from now. Right now, the car needs to get done for Formula Drift Irwindale to be over there, so hence why I'm only painting the interior and cage and all that sort of stuff because I don't have time to do the outside. And when we paint, we got to paint our over fenders and then also we got to paint underneath the over fenders. So it's almost the equivalent of painting two cars a lot of the times. Um, I got to paint the outside of the doors, the inside of the doors, outside of the hood, underside of the hood, um, outside the fenders, and then inside like the metal. Same thing with the side skirt. Got to paint the side skirt and you got to paint underneath the side skirt. Um, so kind of have like a ton of paint for all that. So here's the headlight setup that everyone's always wondering about and it's on the removable tube front of course. This tube front is a little bit rusty and I honestly don't even care about it. It's, it was like a little bit off and I wanted to redo it so I can mount the headlights better and I just didn't have time to end up redoing it so I kind of just continued using it so I could have the car together and running. So I'll be making a new set later on but for right now I'm still going to end up painting these and make them look nice. As for the headlights, these are Morimoto H1s. They have the uh, angel eye ring on the outside as well as the demon eye on the inside. And it's a full bi-xenon setup, has high beam, low beam, it's a full HID, it's much brighter than stock. And on top of that, I can change like a ton of different colors, which I will show you right now um, how it looked before when I still had the car together. I managed to get my headlights done. I'll give you a little overview of my headlights. So I got this controller for my headlights, right? You feel me, dog? And so of course I got green, blue, red, all the freaking colors. Of course you got all these functions. Nts, 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 nts. Strobe. Fade. And then, what is this, smooth? Yeah, I think that's another one. Yeah, that was, yep, and then smooth. Anyways, I finally got my headlights on. They're HIDs, They're, uh, they have 4K bulbs in there. It's a 35 watt system. I mean, it has, it has super clean cutoff on there. You can see like a ton of stuff on the road at night. Anyways, that's my HID setup. I got all that done. <clears throat> Anyways, as you saw, that's how that whole headlight setup works. So as you saw with the headlight video, this whole area was all open. So what I'm gonna do is actually, you know, fiberglass this entire section. I do like curved design or just a straight across design. And I'll fiberglass all that, mold that into the hood and get that all done. So that way it actually looks like a more complete front end with those headlights in there. So I put them on the car right now. That's kind of like what I'm going to be fiberglassing in. So we got the straight design over here, which looks pretty evil if you actually saw it with the eye. Then you have this curved design, which arguably looks better. Kind of has a little bit more creative flow to it. 
and doesn't look like a kindergartner just drew a line over there and fiberglass it in so so i gotta decide that whole thing before i paint it as well as for the engine plans it's an naka it's just been open header and that's how i've been running it um, i'm waiting to go turbo on it i've wanted to go turbo for a long time but really i knew that i was going to be putting this car all together from like the ground up and i knew that if i were to add a turbo into that whole mix the car would basically like take eat way longer to get running and then on top of that when i did get it running it would be with a completely new chassis and a completely new engine setup and i plan to tune that engine as well myself so it would be like having to tune that setup plus just the diagnostics of a turbo system already and then plus having a new chassis it's kind of a headache so i did four events with the naka with this car fully together i knocked out a whole bunch of issues uh, the brake master cylinder was leaking axle was broken in the back um, I had a ton of clearance issues and a whole bunch of suspension problems overall around the car, so I fixed all those. Now the car has angles, so as of right now, the, the car, um, the chassis itself is pretty solid, so I can go ahead and turbo it now, which is going to be the next step. I'm going to do paint, get all the paint done, uh, do the outside of the car, paint the whole outside, and then I'll be able to go turbo knowing that the car is dialed in now and it's not a complete mess and like is it's going to burn down. So that pretty much covers the car in this state right now. Uh, I just got to finish up the cage. I'll be painting the interior, uh, engine bay, all that sort of good stuff, putting everything back together, taking it to Formula Drift Irwindale, then coming back from Formula Drift Irwindale, taking everything apart again, uh, painting the outside, and then after paint the outside, put everything back together, drive it some more, and then start working on the turbo setup for the KA, and then it should be uh, pretty much done. As far as the videos go, I read pretty much uh, each and every single one of the comments. I know that a lot of you guys don't really like to watch the roll cage building videos just because they're so tedious and it's kind of like going over the same thing. Um, there's still four more roll cage videos that have to be put out and they just have to be put out there just so the whole build series is complete. So I still have to do um, the door bars, anti-wheel intrusion bars, welding the cage, and then gussets. So four more videos. And what I'm going to do um, to try and like basically like rip the band-aid off, as you would say, is I'll go ahead and make edit all those ahead of time and then make them live probably all within one day so that way for the guys i think it's a little bit too tedious to have the roll cage videos keep coming out like that i'll just upload the rest of them all within one day so that way you guys can the guys that don't like it can just skip over it. and the guys that want to watch it can have all the content there and then i'll go on to doing the uh, rest of the build videos um, just like i normally would in the meantime what i've tried to do is put smaller videos in between so you have like the camber explained video and i still have like a bunch of other videos like that that are still planned and a whole bunch of just individual product install stuff, kind of like installing e-fans and wiring those up in a car. So I'm doing those shorter videos in between, so that way for the guys that don't really wanna watch the longer build videos, they have like, you know, two or three videos of shorter content, and then they can just skip over the build videos, and the guys that wanna watch the build videos, those will still come out. So yes, that's the game plan for the videos right now. Uh, anyways, I hope that answered all your guys' questions. If not, you can just leave it in the comments below and hopefully I can answer it there. In the meantime, I gotta get busy prepping this car for paint so I can make it out to Formula Drift Irwindale, which Formula Drift Irwindale is October 7th and 8th, and that's in Irwindale, California. So I'll see some of you guys over there, hopefully. <laughs>